Hello everyone, welcome back to Web Dementors YouTube channel and we are watching Learning Bootstrap series. This is the seventh video and uh, as of now we have uh, added navigation bar to the website and also the header banner to the website and uh, apart from these two we have also done something like adding logo to the navigation bar and drop down buttons to the navigation bar so this is how it looks like and uh, we've also added some responsive behavior to the navigation bar like uh, this one and now we're gonna look at something new in this so you might have seen some websites will be having a big area that covers the entire web page with an image that actually promotes the key concept or the important feature of that website or some kind of an important product or service or a new product launch something like that so for example if we go to Apple image that actually promotes a product that is the hero of this website we call it as a hero of the website this can be achieved by what is called as Jumbotron in bootstrap not exactly like this but something like this so we can have this jumbotron I'm going to show you how to convert this header banner that I have into a jumbotron image so so jumbotron is a lightweight flexible component that can optionally extend the entire viewport to showcase key content on your site and a jumbotron can have a button or a text uh, so you can also add a form component so which means that you can also have forms inside the jumbotron uh, I'll show you how to change this header banner into a jumbotron so I'm just going to copy this header paste it here and I'm going to remove it from here so now in order to convert this into jumbotron I'm just going to remove all the classes and add jumbotron and this is how it looks like and uh, based on the size of the image we can uh, have bigger ones so we are having a background of light gray in this that uh, shows the jumbotron and uh, it covers from the left end to the right end of the viewport that is the entire viewport width of the screen so as you can see we reduce it it still covers the entire width and uh, we have added the responsiveness to the image that's the reason why it is reducing in size so we've looked at uh, that in the previous video itself so if you want this jumbotron not extend to the end of the screens you can use a simple container class before the jumbotron something like container division before the jumbotron which makes this to reduce in size and uh, there should be a gap between the jumbotron and the navigation bar uh, yeah uh, we have added a margin of zero so this is how it will look like in your website of course uh, depends on the contents if you have multiple contents the size will be completely dependent on the content main content of the so I'm just going to remove this container because I don't want it and it looks better this way I'm just going to stretch to the end and also this gap doesn't look good so I'm just going to add the margin as zero but instead of adding the style uh, if you remember in the last video I've created a class named as margin no margin that has zero margin so this actually joined this so this is how you add a jumbotron and jumbotron as I've said we can add text so I'm just going to use this lorem ipsum text in place of the image that we have used and this is how it looks so So uh, this is how it looks and uh, we can also have a, a small header for that as well. So I'm just going to add H4 a title to the Jumbotron. I'm sorry about that. Too small. A little header to the Sam. We can also add a small image to the left of it just to show that if there is any kind of uh, product that you want to showcase in here you can use that so I'm going to 
use my logo so I'm going to add an image the source images logo tbg.png and uh, you don't have to actually add the image responsive class to it so we have this uh, this is on the here so in order to make it good I add the class to pull it to the right so if you remember this uh, this pull right will actually bring it to the right side so based on the size of this image uh, this will actually extend so if I reduce the size like I'm just going to did this HTML and add a height of uh, sorry 300 pixels so I don't want that so I'm just going to use 200 pixel and uh, this is going to reduce it I'm just going to check if it is work nope it didn't height sorry about that yep reduce it so you can actually create an image in the size that you desire in order to add this and uh, of course uh, you can actually pull it to the left side if you would like to have it this and uh, you have this height issue so let me add it here itself 200 pixel so always use only the height or the width so that it automatically converts itself into a more good looking images because if you do both it will create a distorted image if it is uh, not properly done so there's a little bit of a problem in here it's not completely aligning as it should be so we just can do this to 50 to test it out how it looks okay this looks good so I have this uh, it looks good and uh, we can have the different text I'm just going to remove the last line and I'm going to add a button to show you how it look uh, just uh, we can use this I'm just going to use that and this is how it looks so you can do a lot of things with this uh, jumbotron apart from uh, just adding some text and uh, stops you can also add a form so we haven't seen the form element so uh, using it now would be a different issue so I'd be showing it if it is necessary at the later part of the videos this is the end of this uh, video how to add a jumbotron and we have also seen how to add a big image that access the center of attraction for that uh, website so just and uh, I've also shown you how to add an image and also text to the jumbotron with also a button so you can also add multiple items to the jumbotron in the same place I have a title for this uh, jumbotron and also a text for this jumbotron a button an image all in the same jumbotron so thank you for watching this video hope it is useful for you and if you have any kind of comments suggestions or issues errors or doubts in this you can always ask it in the comment section of this video or in our Facebook page or Twitter handle and we are glad to answer your queries and uh, make sure that you understand everything stay tuned for the next video of the learning bootstrap series and subscribe to the channel so that you can know when a new video is added thank you